today's tutorial is tummy breathing or diaphragmatic breathing and it's a skill that we teach to all of the children that we work with in schools. So if we work with your child, they'll be able to teach you how to do it at home. Tummy breathing or diaphragmatic breathing is all about using all of the lungs to breathe and it's the body's own natural way of getting our calming response to kick in. So it's a really, really useful thing for us to learn. It can be quite tricky to learn because the natural thing for us to do when we breathe in is to pull everything in. And what we're asking you to do is the opposite from that. So for our children who struggle with coordination or for people who are very, very stressed, then getting that coordination right can be a bit tricky. So today I'm going to teach you some tips to be able to work with your child to do diaphragmatic or tummy breathing if they're finding it a bit tricky. So if I'm working with a child for the first time, what I would ask them to do is to, to find those tummy muscles to start with, to isolate the tummy muscles. So all I ask them to do is to keep their back on the floor and to use their big strong tummy muscles to push the tummy up to the ceiling. And what we're wanting to do is isolate the tummy so that they're starting to think about where the tummy is and become aware of it. And we can use a prop, so push your tummy down and use tummy muscles to put back up. We can use a prop to make that more visual so that they can see the tummy is starting to move and at this stage all we're doing is just using those tummy muscles to push up and down and then once we've isolated the tummy we're wanting to bring the breath into that a little bit so then what I would ask them to do is to push the tummy muscles up to the ceiling as high as they can make the tummy really really big and then fill that space in the tummy up with air so we're going to take a big breath in through our nose and then blow it out and as we blow it out the tummy is naturally coming back down and I usually use my hand as a bit of an aid so that they can see what's happening there. So push your tummy up to the ceiling, fill with air, and blow. And we want to make sure that it's this part of the body that's moving and not the chest. So push your tummy muscles up, fill your tummy up with air, and blow. Push your tummy muscles up, fill with air, and blow. Some children will still find that a challenge and what you'll find is that when they start to think about it and they're trying to coordinate themselves, they're still pushing up on the chest and you're seeing the chest moving rather than the tummy. So you can see with Daniel here, if you breathe in and move your chest as well. So you can see all of the tension up here and it's not this bit that's moving. And a really good way to isolate that and get them thinking about opening up all of the lungs is to put their hands above their head. So if you put your hands up here, yeah. So that now we've opened up that diaphragm and it's quite difficult to breathe into your chest when you've got your hands above your head. So if we take a big breath in and out. In and out. In. Thank you. The other way we can do is using, a, this is called the Hoberman's Fear and we use that a lot in our work. This one was about four pounds off of Amazon. You don't need one, you can use your hands or you could even use a balloon or so, I don't know. You could use anything. Um, but this is a nice way of demonstrating that when we breathe in, that tummy's coming up and then breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Give it a go at home and switch it around. Get the kids to teach you as well. So. See if they can use their own vision of the tummy and make sure that your tummy is coming up and down and get them to make sure that you're doing it properly and teach each other and have a bit of fun with it. Thank you.